Do you have Adobe Creative Cloud or the Photography Bundle? Then you have Adobe Portfolio. Hey, it's Andrew Howard, A. Howard A. Today we're talking about making a website with Adobe Portfolio. Here, take a look. I built my website, ahowarda.com, with Adobe Portfolio. And I think it looks pretty good. It's not fully complete-ish. Uh, it's complete to a point where I could, I could actually show it off to somebody. But if you're looking at this, I. I, it looks professional and it looks very modernized compared to some websites that you see out there that look uh, archaic to say the least. So like on the left here we have my time lapse. It's a time lapse reel that I created, uh, portraits, portraits of that I've taken of people, and then Wealth and Wisdom, uh, one of the guy, the guys I work for, financial firm, I do their videos in the YouTube channel is called Wealth and Wisdom. And if you want to check out the website, the link's right in below in, in the links below. But let's check out the time lapse. So on this timeline page, as the, the main title, it has an, a paragraph talking about what the page is about. Time lapse production is something I find joy in making. And I really do, I love making the time lapse. It's just sitting there and waiting and the, the production of it can be a pain in the butt sometimes, but coming back into on my computer and creating the time lapse, it's amazing. I love that process, the product post-production of it. It shows passage of time and movements through clouds, motion of people, cars, and then of course you can get the holy grail. Um, I'm really fully done on one day to night where you can see the stars. Um, those are really tough. I plan on doing that once I find enough money to buy LR time-lapse. But if you wanna watch this time-lapse reel, it's pretty awesome. Uh, it's You can just check out my web, webpage, ahowarday.com. Let's go back home. So the other pieces I have are portraits. So I can line up photos along the sides. And this is just one of the templates that Adobe has for their portfolios. And then Wealth and Wisdom, and it tells you what we do for the Wealth and Wisdom. And you can check out the video, one of the videos there, and then also go to the channel using this up here. Let's go back home. And then there's also the menu bar where I have the about section, just tells me like a little thing, freelance video, photo on Delmarva, loves to travel, see different cultures, architecture, food, in the in the places he visits. It's weird on a website. Do you talk third person about yourself or do you talk first person? That's the funniest thing I've, that's the weirdest thing I thought of because in a sense, it's a web page. It's not really me talking. But then again, it is me in the web page. I don't know, that's, tell me what you think in below. And then contact, it's just a nice sunset picture. And then if you want to contact me, hit me up on, on my form, on my web, web page. And then obviously I have the, I have the links I don't know why I have the YouTube there. I guess um, it just has my latest video for YouTube, but also I have the three biggest social media links on the top, Twitter, Instagram, and then YouTube. I don't know, it's just something, but it's so they're so easy to edit. Let's, let's go to Adobe Portfolio and check out some themes. So I'll edit my sites. So this is my site in the back end. Now I bought myself a domain to A Howard A. It was two dollars from GoDaddy, and it was very cheap, very very cheap. So I, I would go if you have an awesome, like a name that's not really uh, like my my original, my actual name is Andrew Howard. You know, I couldn't do that because there's an, a famous actor named Andrew Howard. So that's why I go with A Howard A most of the time. Um, so AHowardA.com was cheap, but you can add pages onto here. Uh, j the default what I learned. I learned the hard way is if you use the bottom three on this template, the image left, right, or centered, it doesn't add the uh, the menu bar on the top, which I do not like. I must have that menu bar so you can go back home. But let's just add a new page. Let's call it test. Uh, destination, call it home. But this one is going to go on this front home page with all the galleries. So test. And then I'm going to... I. I have like a specific font I use. It's just so simple and easy to use. You can embed videos, photos, your Twitter uh, Twitter feed on here, buttons, social icons, forms. If you And then if you use uh, Lightroom Creative Cloud, I use the classic version, but if you use the Creative Cloud version and you upload albums, you can put one of those albums on here. Uh, it might be able to sync from my phone, but yeah, like some of these are from my phone. So let's see, I, I like these photos. Let's do the ones that have kind of pink to them. 
and then import selected. But when you make a new page uh, in behind the scenes, you can make sure you can turn them on and off uh, like real estate. I don't have anything with that yet. Test, I don't want to show right now. So I'll leave it at that. And then I'm gonna update my live site and nothing's really changed because I just tur turned it off to show it, turn it off. But using Adobe Portfolio is so easy. Let's go to Adobe Portfolio and then check out other templates that they have. I, I have a gallery of work, but let's do a splash page, just to, like a splash thing. Um, Let's do image. I, I, I prefer an image left than an image right. I don't know why. It's just per, my prefer, what I prefer. So let's build this site, Andrew Howard, whatever. Let's upload a photo. So I'll just upload this with this photo. It'll be on this left side. And it really just tells you who, who I am. Just a thing. Andrew Howard. And then edit this. I am a videographer. Oop, cat log. Videographer and photographer. I cannot type or spell. I am a videographer and photographer in the state of Delaware. Small but mighty. Edit this button. You can do anything, sorts of things. You can send it to another web page. You can send it to a contact form, whatever. And then you can add to social profiles. And that's that's all this is because it's a splash profile. So let's add social profiles. Twitter, Twitter. Dot com slash Andrew Broward. Let's just do Twitter. All right, so there you go. Let's preview it. There's your website. It's done, created. And though, basically, if you're just looking for to get uh, some people to hit you up and contact you just off of based on this, then you can do that. Just send them to your YouTube, your Vimeo, just through the social icons on the bottom here. And it's just a simple, easy way of doing this for very, very cheap since it's basically included with your Adobe Creative Cloud. So if you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.